these are the dolphins of the sky. They're magical and happy, and they're just out there cleaning up our skies, removing all these insects that bug the heck out of us. A chimney swift is an amazing bird that breeds in North America and overwinters in South America. Their populations are threatened, so they're not quite endangered, but they're on their way to being endangered. They're really amazing acrobats, and so they're zigzagging around in the sky all day long. Here around town, they live in lots of the old chimneys in the churches, in old houses. They go so fast, I don't know, it might be hard. Did you see them there? I think they're amazing because you can be in a city environment and then they can take you out of whatever your busy, distracted day is. It can be stressful or what have you, and then you catch the, this really playful chitter chatter up in the sky and it sort of gives you a moment of reprieve, right? There were fewer and fewer old forests for them, but they said, no problem. These chimneys look very similar and they function very similar to trees. We are totally fine with that. Happy to use your chimney. The goal is that we have more nesting sites for them. So we worked with community artists and artisans to construct lots of these, we call them functional sculptures. They're really just gigantic birdhouses. Each tower can support about 500 birds, sort of like couch surfing for birds. Only one tower will house a nest. So there's only one nest per site. All the birds need, I was talking about them being these really amazing acrobats. They only need a 12 inch clearance. So you can still have the cap, you can remove the screen and just make sure that the adjustment is only 12 inches and they can still go in there and use it. Oh, there they go. Woo, that's a good one. I just, I love their perseverance that they're like, oh sure, you towed down my first, no problem. I'll just move into your chimney. I think that's a great reminder for everybody, especially for kids when we're doing outreach. I'm talking with a lot of immigrant children that they've been kicked out of their homes or they don't have a place to stay. I think it's a great example that you're not alone, that animals often face this and they persevere. So if they can do it, we can do it. Ah, done. So now chimney swifts can go in there and they will hang out. They'll put their giant hands on the, the rough walls of the limestone and they'll anchor down using their tail spines and they'll just hang out there. Now they don't seem to actually sleep. 